Hi guys, it is Alisa here, or the Diamond Stitcher, as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning, or good afternoon, whatever time it is you are watching this video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm happy you are here, and I hope you would consider subscribing and sticking around for all things diamond painting. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support. We have a first look for you here today from Diamond Art Club. This kit was actually uh, supposed to be one of the kits released. Well, I guess it was released, um, but I didn't get my sneak peek in time. So this was one of the Halloween sneak peeks that at time of filming came out, I believe, two weekends ago. It's the weekend when Diamond Art Club released 15 Halloween images. This was one of them, but uh, shipping was delayed. So it only arrived to me yesterday, so um, here we are uh, unboxing it today, so we call this a first look. Uh, as you can tell from the pink branding here, this is going to be a round diamond painting kit, and this is the image. It's called Pumpkin Head, and the artist is Diana Levin. Uh, it's a round diamond painting, and it measures 55.8 centimeters by 78.7 centimeters. If you are new to Diamond Art Club and you are going to be making your very first purchase with them, I do have a code that you can use. It's my name, A-L-Y-S-A-15, uh, that's 1-5, and that will save you 15% off your very first order. So no obligation to use that code, but if you are looking at making your first purchase, there are some savings for you there. I have already taken off the plastic cover that comes wrapped around this box, so let's get into the box. Again, this diamond painting is already up on the site for sale. I will link the listing in the description box of this video. So if you are interested in this kit after seeing the unboxing, you can go ahead and just click it and make your purchase. Uh, let me know if you did pick this up uh, on the release weekend. I'm interested to know how many of you chose this diamond painting. Uh, here in the box, we get three different things. One is this small sticker. A lot of people will use this in their paper logbook. I don't, I use it for storage purposes. I either put it on the end of this box if I'm gonna keep my diamond painting in the box or I put it right on this plastic sleeve if I'm storing it in its sleeve. It's just an easier way for me to tell which diamond painting is in which box or which sleeve without having to open everything. It does have all the information on it. I will show you the sticker I use in my paper log book once we get inside the kit. Here is our toolkit. Let's see what goodies we have here. The goodies in your toolkit might vary uh, as far as colors and washi tape and cover binder. Let's see here. So we have a sparkly pen with a matching squishy. It comes with a single placer and then they do send these two multi-placers that you can pop in the other end of the pen. We get a four and a seven. These are considered the thin plastic multi-placers here. If you do like using these, you probably will like Diamond Art Club's new metal thin multi-placers. I've used I have one in every size and I've used them all at some point in the last few weeks and I really enjoy using them. Uh, we have a bag of baggies. These come in handy if you are storing extra diamonds or say um, your container doesn't hold all of the diamonds in the bag so you have somewhere to put them. We get a random roll of washi tape. This one's a pretty floral pattern. Oh my gosh, you can see cat hair. I always forget to vacuum before I film. Uh, the corner I film here is right by a window, so it provides a lot of natural light. It's also where the cat sleeps <laughs> on the corner of our bed. Anyways, um, you get two plates of heart wax as well. It comes in this cute little container, helps prevent it from drying out. We get a little cover minder. Again, yours may vary. Uh, this is a dolphin version. Cover minders come with two magnets. This dolphin piece will go on top of your canvas. This free magnet goes underneath your canvas and it helps to hold back the plastic cover when you're diamond painting or uh, what I use it for is to secure my release papers in place. And then of course we get a basic diamond painting tray. This little plastic piece is actually a stopper. It fits in the end here. It does not matter which way it goes, just don't force it in. So as you can see, it fits nicely both ways. That just prevents diamonds from flying out when you're shaking your tray. This dust sleeve that covers our diamond painting is usually resealable as long as the glue is not too sticky. I just peel it back very carefully. Once I'm done unboxing this, I do put it back in the plastic sleeve and usually back in the box for storage purposes until I'm ready to work on the kit. 
Uh, Diamond Art Club canvases are very nice and soft. They have a nice soft backing. Their kits are also made with cord glue, and that means that uh, we can roll our canvas backwards on itself like this, uh, which you'll see me doing here. And I'm doing this just so the canvas lies a little bit flatter for the camera. Uh, if you did not know, Diamond Art Club canvases do have self flattening features in them. So if you do lay them flat uh, for a little while, they will flatten themselves out. But just to speed up the process, I always roll mine backwards. Oh my gosh, isn't he so cute? He looks a lot cuter uh, in person than when I looked at the image. When I looked at the image, I thought it was like a, a more of a spooky diamond painting. But now seeing uh, it here, it actually looks like a cute little pumpkin head. Let's take a look at the image again. I'm not going to be able to get everything fully in frame, but uh, we will. I will pull the canvas up and down. Let's take a look at some canvas features. As always at the top, we have their catchphrase, do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. Their edges are scalloped and poked. That helps prevent fraying. That being said, every Diamond Art Club I finish, I cut the border down by half all the way around and I paint it black and I've never had the canvas fray even after cutting it. So it's a very high quality uh, canvas material. We have two schematics, one on the top left. The other one is on the bottom right here, and here we can see the base of the image. So uh, it looks like he is coming out of this tree, skeleton pumpkin. And yeah, his head, his facial expression, he just looks so cute. We've got a white rat up there, and we have a bat down here as well. Very cute image, I have to say. Not not so spooky as I thought it would be when I first uh, saw the thumbnail. Inside of the diamond painting, we have a few different things. We have our uh, thank you brochure here. Quick message from the founder of the company. We have an explanation of what to expect in the kit. Three different languages. We've got some tips and tricks from Diamond Art Club themselves. And we have another discount code, saving 10% off your next purchase by using thank you 10. In here, we have a QR code that will take you to Diamond Art Club's step-by-step -step video for diamond painting. I also have my own beginner videos. You can find those in the tips and tricks sections. I also usually link them down in the description box of the video. I have a video for diamond painting for beginners and also a multi-placing video where I share some of my tips. And then down here, there's another QR code. That one's gonna take you to the VIP Facebook group. That group is for customers only. So once you make your first purchase, you'll be invited to join that group. It's a great resource where people uh, post daily all of their progress, all of their whips. You can post questions, you can post, post anything related to Diamond Art Club there. Step-by-step uh, -step instructions over here in three different languages as well. And then on the back, a reminder that they do have an app you can purchase from both iPhone and Android. And if you scan those QR codes to download the app, you'll get 20% off your very first purchase through the app. This is the big sticker sheet that I love. Uh, this is the image that I use in my paper logbook. I like it because it's big. You can really see all the little details, including the background as well. This kit has 40 colors. All of these labels are individually cut and peelable. And in this one, they do send lots of extras. So as you can see, you just peel and stick onto your containers or your baggies, and then you have all of these extra ones to save uh, for um, storing leftover diamonds, for example. In the colors here, when we look at the very top of the list, any number under 150 uh, in the color code section here is going to be an AB diamond. So we have three of them. We have 128, 129, and 132. And then at the bottom of the list, this is where Diamond Art Club puts all of the other special drills. We have, or they have, I should say, crystals, they have metallic drills, they have glow-in-the-dark drills, they have fairy dust drills, and I'm probably missing um, some other types. I think they've done quad cubes in some paintings too. I think I know how to learn. Anyway, uh, I know just from experience that this Z3865 uh, is going to be a fairy dust diamond. Uh, I will show you the difference between the two once we get into the kit. In terms of the canvas and the rendering, it looks amazing. I can see that I'm going to be able to use my multi-placer probably for the majority of this kit, which is where I thrive. I love my multi-placers, so um, 
and there's a good mix of color. It's going to be a fun kit. It's going to, I think, move fairly quickly, especially with all the background colors. And uh, there's only 40 colors, so there's not too much color changes in uh, the diamond painting itself. And as I said, lots of areas where you can use quite a large multi-placer, especially all the black outline that I'm seeing. Let's look at the diamonds. So for Diamond Art Club, their diamonds come in this bag. It's always labeled with the name of the canvas. So if you do separate your diamonds from your canvas for some reason, you should be able to match it up just fine. I'm gonna fast forward through the crinkle. Oh boy, so the first thing that jumps out at me is a lot of bags of 310. Uh, so um, for Diamond Art Club, they package their diamonds in these bags. Uh, they are in order by weight, not by numerical order. So that's just something to take note of. They've also added an underline under the number, which is great for numbers that are easily confused. If you um, flip them upside down, like 666 and 999, for example, um, we'll start here. So we've got one bag of 3021, and we have one, two, three, four. Well, that's actually not bad at all. Four bags of 310. We have a lot of brown too. We've got three bags of 3371. We have two bags of 159. I was waiting for a lighter color to kind of show you. Um, their, di their round diamonds are so, so sparkly. Perfect quality. If you did not know, Diamond Art Club does make their diamonds in-house now, and they are made of an improved resin formula. So they are looking super, super sparkly these days. Uh, taking a look here, I'm seeing no trash, no tabs, no extra bits, no dust. Uh, perfect, perfect condition. We have two bags of 161. We have three bags of 844. We have three bags of 160. And one bag of 341 and 648. You can see in this 648, a little bit of static in that bag. A, a couple tips that I use that get, get rid of static completely for me is when I cut open this bag, I will take a Q-tip that's dipped in rubbing alcohol and I will swirl it around a few times. And then I pour the diamonds into my, I use Ziploc bags. And then I put a couple dryer sheets in the Ziploc bag. I just cut them into small squares. Then I will usually uh, leave the diamond painting that I've kitted up alone for a day. When I go, come to it the next day, the static is gone. There's zero static. So uh, that's what I do. I always see posts about static. That is my method that I do. I don't need a pill bottle with a coin or I don't need to pop them in the freezer. Just a Q-tip with some rubbing alcohol and some dryer sheets and it works every time. We have 762, 413, 647, 3787. Here is our fairy dust diamond. Now fairy dust is a type of fancy diamond that's kind of like a glitter drill, but better. Uh, to me, it looks like a very shiny mica powder coating on the very top, and it gives a very subtle a glimmer or shine, different than other traditional glitter drills where you see gold specks on top. This one, the... Um, the glittery coating matches the DMC color, so uh, it looks very beautiful when it's down on a canvas. It's a little hard to see through the camera lens, but I think a lot of people know what fairy dust diamonds are as well. If you search fairy dust diamond in the VIP Facebook group, you'll probably see posts people have put up with the diamonds in the tray so you can really see them shine. We have 646 and 317, 782, 742, 645, and 640. Our last strip of diamonds here are in smaller amounts. So we have 743, 783, and 780. 931, 712, and 597. Here is our first AB. So it's this uh, orange color, 132. An AB diamond has a very different shiny coating on the very top that's painted on the top of the diamond. And when the light shines off of it, you'll get all sorts of different colors bouncing back at you. Uh, all the colors of the Northern Lights, which is why it's called AB, Aurora Borealis. I have to say that their AB diamonds are looking really good these days. The coating looks amazing. There's never any scratches on it, no trash. I'm uh, really happy with the quality of their ABs. I think it was a few months ago now that uh, they had confirmed that they improved their resin formula, and I sure can tell. We have a yellow, which is 129, another AB. 
Back to basics, 414, 453, 642, 3733, 400, 3350, 128 is our last AB, a very small amount of this one. It's a very pale pink. Then back to basics again, 732, 733, 833, 3011, and 834. Now, let's find out where they have charted their special diamonds. So we'll start with the ABs. So 128 was the pale pink, this pale pink here. And they're using the number one for that one. So I assume that we're going to find some up here. Yeah, so in the ears of this rat, there's a few, there's a few in his little hands too, and his little feet, and in his tail. So where you see the pink, there's a, a little bit of that pink AB. And I think that's all. I don't think it's anywhere else. That's the only area on the canvas where that pink AB is. So we're going to see all these pink parts of the little rat. Um, we'll have some of that AB charted in. The second one was the yellow color. Uh, 129, that is a number two. So yes, it's all through the pumpkin head. So right where you see the lighter color streaks, we're gonna have that AB. Kind of where you would expect light to bounce off of is where we're gonna see the reflection with that AB. And again, I'm taking a quick scan of the rest of the canvas, but I'm not seeing it anywhere else. So that yellow AB is all in the pumpkin head. And then the third AB was an orange. There's not much of this one either, 132. And again, that's going to be in the pumpkin head. So up near the top here, I'm seeing a lots of threes. And it does come down here and here. I'm not seeing any kind of on this side of the face. Kind of it starts here and it moves up just along the top there. And then the last specialty diamond was that fairy dust. Now, where did that one go? Here it is. So the fairy dust was this white color. And that is the little square box. So I'm just going to pull this up for a second so I can see. Yeah. So um, first, we do have a bunch of it in the rat in his body. You can see there that little, little black dot that looks like it's actually a square. Um, that's where all that AB is going. So it's quite a lot throughout the rat. And then all of these little white um, elements here, I, I wouldn't say that they're snowflakes. I don't think they're snowflakes. Probably like, um, I'm just sorry, I'm looking for my image here. Probably like some sparkle, maybe. I don't think it would be snow. Uh, but all of these little white spots, we're going to have a sprinkling of the AB. We also have it in the rib cage, uh, in the main part of the rib cage. And then each rib has some as well. Going down the sides, there's some in his arm and into his hand. And then, yeah, there's a few little elements here, the little white dots that we're going to see it as well. Yeah, so that's it for the special diamonds. This is as far as I can zoom out. We basically have the whole guy in the picture here. Again, here is the base of the canvas. So we have the tree stump down here. We have the little bat hanging off the tree branch over here. And then Mr. Skeleton pumpkin head comes out here. I might try to fit this in once I'm done my current whip and get it in before kind of Christmas season comes comes to us because uh, I think it's really cute and it's always nice I find to break up my diamond painting with working on a round kit. I try to do a square and then a round then a square just to give myself a little bit of a break. Um, I do find rounds a little bit easier than the squares. And it just, like I said, gives me a little bit of a break. I find it keeps me motivated and engaged in diamond painting when I kind of switch it up instead of doing kind of the same thing all of the time. Let me know if you grab this image. Again, it's going to be available already on the website. I'm going to try and upload this video the day I'm filming it, which is Thursday, I believe. And the date, I can't remember, but it's a Thursday. So I'm going to, once I shut the video down, I'm going to try and upload it as quick as I can. So those that have been waiting to see the first look can see it uh, and then go purchase it if you would like. I think the image does look really cute rather than spooky. 
Um, I'm really happy with this image. That's awesome. Also, the artist Diana Levin. She's also known as Diana Levin Art. Sorry, I didn't show you this part of the canvas. Um, I talk to y'all like you guys are old pros of Diamond Art Club. But if you are new to Diamond Art Club, on the bottom of our canvas, we do have a thumbnail of the image here with the pasting area. The pasting area refers to the area where there's glue or where the diamonds glow. And then they always have the information down here. So again, this kit's called Pumpkin Head. Our dimensions are there. And then Diana Levin also goes by Diana Levin Art and is copyrighted. At the bottom here, we have another discount code. Take 10 for 10% off your order. Don't forget to follow Diamond Art Club and all of their socials. I always see people post in that VIP Facebook group, where are the sneak peeks? Diamond Art Club posts their, their own little sneak peeks of the image on their business page, Diamond Art Club, on Facebook and Instagram. For Saturday releases, every Friday afternoon, Julia Catherine collages, who are in the VIP Facebook group, they're the ones that create that fancy collage with all of the releases and the estimated prices. Uh, they only do it for Saturday releases, uh, not for the Wednesday releases. So to see Wednesday releases, you'll have to follow the business page of Diamond Art Club, but inevitably somebody does share it to the VIP group as well. But for our Saturday releases, we always get a collage. It's always Friday afternoon and the sneak peeks, as long as they've arrived to each creator, those videos go up Friday morning, you know, uh, such as this one was delayed. So it's going to be a first look, which means um, the painting's already being re been released and I'm giving you the first look at the canvas. So um, some little little tips if you are new to Diamond Art Club and curious how everything works. Let me know if you picked up this kit or if you're going to go purchase it now. Uh, you saw this first look and seen where the special diamonds go and everything. I think it's, I think it is a cute image. Here's the uh, thumbnail of the original artwork again. So you guys can really see those colors. We've got lots of ABs on our little rat and our pumpkin head and some of that white fairy dust in the uh, skeleton and also in our little rat. I will be having another Diamond Art Club sneak peek coming up. I believe that one will release um, in a couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you head out. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you join my tribe. Until the next video, happy diamond painting everyone. I'll see you later. Bye.